Hello everybody and welcome to the channel, my name is Tommy and in this episode of Ready K, I'm gonna be reacting to something that I should have reacted to like three fucking months ago. That being, uh, reacting to very very GBTB and also they, uh, their DIY music video. So yeah, I'm sorry I didn't react to this sooner. You probably were screaming at me or asking me to react to this, but... I just forgot and kind of was overwhelmed as I've mentioned in my last like 30 or 40 videos I've been overwhelmed by the amount of K-pop songs I had to react to in the second half of the 2020 year especially because I also had some personal life stuff that I was busy with but finally I've gotten to this and I'm sorry that I took so long to react to this I completely forgot also which group uh, very very was because their song uh, laid back which might have been the last song before this that they came back with but I'm not 100% sure because I believe that was in 2019 not in 2020 but anyway they are the group that released laid back which is a really good song and a music video I love the uh, the editing in that music video it was amazing you can check out my reaction to that on my channel so just look it up and maybe if I manage to put the card thing, maybe I'll put it, but I don't know if I'll, have, I'll be able to. Like, I think it's gonna be like up here or something. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty excited to see where this song is going to go, uh, because I believe they had another song, Thunder, which felt surprisingly worse. And I don't know if it was the production for the music, for the song itself, that kind of sounded weird. But yeah, I'm curious to see where this is going to fit in between those two songs. So without further ado, let's get into it in 3, 2, 1. Okay, already better. Oh, that's cool. Oh my god, I'm blown away already. That was a really cool creative idea with the production. And it makes it so much harder when they, when you can actually hear them unmuffled. That's so cool. What is happening right now? Okay, I'm definitely blown away by this. I love, like, they're being really creative. Last time they were creative with the music video. With this one, they're creative with the song. That's really, really cool. I'll definitely have to react to it a second time because it just sounds a little all over the place and unconnected. But I'm definitely impressed by the production of the release. For the song, I'm not sure how I feel about it uh, ultimately, but I'm definitely positive. We're very, very on Road to Kingdom because if they haven't been, definitely deserve to have been. What the 
hell? Like I definitely also have to see reactions by other people because this song is just such a such a mind-blowing experience. What the hell did I just watch? Okay, this is definitely a step up from Thunder, for sure. Because the one thing I remember about Thunder is the shot where they where it gets into a house. That's the thing that I remember about it. And maybe a little bit of the song, but there was something weird about the production where the song just sounded weird. Like, it didn't sound like high quality. And I'm not talking about styles or whatever, or personal opinion. It genuinely didn't sound like they produced it well. But this song doesn't have that problem. And they intentionally used uh, the muffled thing as a stylistic choice. And I really love that because it amplifies the rap parts that much more and makes them that much more hit, hard hitting. I love that. I love that. Like, I did not expect them to be creative in such a way. Like, I remember laid back and I was blown away by the editing in that music video, but I, uh, the very best, like, I would have expected maybe just as much of a mind blowing music video, but no, in this case, they actually uh, played around with the song, which I definitely did not see coming. But yeah, we're definitely gonna react to this one a second time, so let's get into it again in 3, 2, 1. Okay, on second listen, the rapping sounds a little better because at first I felt it was a little weak, especially after the beginning hard hitting bit. But I kind of like how it chills out a little bit here. That's so cool, I love it. So creative. Oh my god, this song, I, I definitely would have to rework the top 20 songs of 2020. I've decided it. It's like two songs I've reacted to right now. And no, actually three, this is the third song I'm reacting to in this recording session. And all three deserve to be in that place. So I definitely have to reward that. Or maybe at least, as I said, I would do like a top 50 K-pop songs, or, or I would just rate the songs that have been released. That's also a thing we could do. Okay, what an experience of a song. I still feel like uh, song dropping could be improved a little bit. It just doesn't really, 
like the best part of the song which is like the chorus which is like who's gonna pull the trigger that sounds really good and I really like it but some of the verses are a little weak like they're not as strong as the chorus at the very least not that they're necessarily too weak or anything but yeah I definitely like this song like even if the rest of the song was terrible I would love it for that creative idea to use the muffled sound in the beginning like that's such a smart and interesting thing to do and it's not something that has been done ever before I love that I freaking love that it's so cool it, it's really really fucking cool it really makes the song for me because the rest of the song um, is not as strong as I would like it to be um, but it but because of this it's just improved so much more like without the creative that creative idea I would probably put the song at about an 8 out of 10 because it's okay it's hard hitting and I'll probably listen to it but it's not gonna be the fa my fa my most uh, favorite thing ever but because of the creative idea of the muffled sound in the beginning and the fact that it just amplifies the hard hitting parts of the song that much more in the beginning I'm going to give this song an 8.6 out of 10, which yeah, may be a little bit lower than what you would have expected, but as I said, I feel like the rest of the song is still not quite as strong as it could have been. It's pretty strong, like an 8.6 out of 10 is nothing to laugh at, but it didn't really manage to be like a 9 or a 10 out of 10. Although for the creative idea alone, I could easily give it a 10 out of 10. On that front, I'm impressed. I'm mind blown. But for the song itself, as a thing that I'll be listening to, it's pretty good, but not the best thing ever. But yeah, um, I definitely, god damn it, like, I definitely should have added this song to my top 20 K-pop songs of 2020. And at this point, seeing that the last three songs that I've reacted to, which is this, uh, Wanna We, and Eyes One, all three songs have been really good and definitely better than some of the songs that I added to that list I either will rework that list or most likely I will do a separate video in which I just put or rank the 50 song that impressed me the most during 2020 or something like that I don't know because this definitely deserves to be in that list but I don't really feel like reworking that video because it also took like a day to edit it was such a pain to edit it but yeah if it's any consolation i do i would have added this song uh to that list if i had seen it by the time i made that video so yeah um i guess let's get into very various diy music video which is produced by very very but I don't understand whether the music video is produced by Very Very or the song is produced by Very Very. I don't know. Anyway, let's get into it quickly in 3, 2, 1. Depending on what it is and whether the song is going to be good, uh, I might react to it a second time. But otherwise, it's probably going to be only one and done kind of thing. Honestly, so far this song sounds like the typical B-side. Not that it's bad, but nothing too impressive. It's not something that I would listen to in my personal time. I assume this is a B-side from this album. I 
Why does he seem familiar? I mean, maybe I've noticed him before when I was reacting to them in their other music videos, but his face looks very unique. I like it. Man, this song is giving me 2017 vibes for some reason. It's making me a little nostalgic. Wait, is the name of the song Gravity? Why the hell is it not spelled out in English? I know that's a little bit of an entitled comment to make, but how am I supposed to know the name of the song when it's just in Korean? Like, you could just put it in the... Uh, I don't know what's the word for those things in English, but you could put them in that, in those things, and it's just gonna be so much simpler. <laughs> But anyway, um, for this song, it's pretty much exactly what I expected it was going to be. It's a cute kind of song for the fans kind of thing. I definitely felt like that. Like, if you're a fan of this group and you are into this kind of music, like, it, it doesn't bother you, or you just might, like, casually like it, uh, you pro you're probably gonna enjoy this uh, song. For me, I definitely recognize that it's a good song, but it's not what I listen to at all, and it's not what I look for. In, in songs, so for me, it's a pass, 100%. But it's not a bad song, and as a reaction, like, I'm, I'm not uh, annoyed by the song, I'm not angry at the song or anything like that. I enjoyed listening to it, but it's not something that I would go out of my way to listen to, for sure. Um, in terms of rating the song, I think I'm gonna give it a solid 8 out of 10. Uh, or maybe 8.2, let's give that 8.2, because, like, I like it, but it's not something I'll listen to. And it's a good song, if you enjoy this kind of thing, it's perfect for you. Uh, and again, I don't know whether this video or the song was produced by the group, but either case, it's okay, like, there wasn't anything bad about it, it's definitely competently made either way. If it's the song, I'll definitely be much more impressed. But for the music video, it's okay, it's fine. Yeah, I just don't really have much to say uh, to this, hopefully you still enjoyed my reaction. But anyway, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video, if you did, uh, leave a like, subscribe, also check out the Instagram description to my Twitter if you want to follow me there, and to my Wattpad where I post my stories, because in addition to doing all these videos on my channel, I'm also a writer. And if you end up enjoying my stories or you simply enjoy my videos, you can head over to Patreon where you can pledge support and help the channel going, keep support me so I can keep writing the stories you enjoy. But if you don't want to do it, that's completely fine, you can still help me out in other ways, like liking this video, subscribing, and especially sharing this video with somebody who you think might enjoy it. And I think that's pretty much it for this video, so hopefully I'm gonna see you in the next one. Bye!